Welcome to Pocket Coaching with Angelina. I'm going to talk today about proper food combination. We digest food at different rates in acid or alkaline environment. Imagine the car that have different levels of acceleration and speed. If you put a slow car in front of the faster one on a one-lane road, the faster one will go slowly in order to prevent any accidents. The same thing with food in our digestive system. The faster food crashes into the slow food and causes an accident in form of indigestion, bloating, and poor assimilation. These accidents happen especially when you eat such foods during one meal. So our goal is to nourish our body with the most nutrient-dense and easily digestible foods. What we want is to have a quick absorption of nutrients and efficient elimination of waste. Even if our diet is super clean, the combination of foods we eat in one meal can help or make the process of digestion worse. And that causes an inflammation in our body that can result in bloating, gas, diarrhea, constipation, and pain. What happens when we eat protein-dominant foods? It requires the acidic juices in the stomach to break them down. What happens when we eat starch-dominant foods? We need alkaline fluids produced in the mouth for complete digestion. When the acidic juices mix with alkaline juices, they neutralize each other and makes our digestion impaired. The number one golden rule of proper food combination, never eat protein dominant food with starch carbs for proper digestion. Now, let's look at the different types of foods. All seeds are proteins, such as pumpkin seeds, sesame, sunflower, ham, chia. All nuts are proteins, almonds, Brazil nuts, pecan, pine nuts. Starchy carbs are grains, beans, and root vegetables. Now, vegetables are simply all sprouts and non-starchy vegetables. The average digestion times for nuts and seeds are four hours. That's why we want to eat proteins during the day. Eating proteins before going to bed will imbalance your metabolism. It needs to rest during your sleep. The average digestion time for vegetable is two hours and for sprouts, it takes only 45 minutes to digest. Let's look at the examples. Does this all make sense now? Great. One of the good food combinations include protein, sprouts, and vegetables. And I'm sharing with you today one of my favorite dishes I eat every day, Buddha bowl with proper food combination. I wanted to share with you my beautiful lunch. Look at that, it's so delicious. It's my Buddha bowl and uh, with a proper combination of food. It has a bunch of sprouts and arugula underneath and fermented cabbage. And those little boats filled with um, nut protein. So um, it's a pate, okay, it's a nut pate. And I have uh, broccoli sprouts, and yeah, it's just a it's just a beautiful dish, and it's a uh, well properly uh, combined. So this food doesn't create any inflammation, any bloating, and it's gonna be digested very soon in my book. And here's the recipe. Don't forget to take a screenshot. Buddha bowl is my favorite day-to-day -day meal. I encourage you to experiment with different leafy greens, vegetables, and sources of protein. It has arugula, mung, and broccoli sprouts, fermented sauerkraut, avocado, and endive leaves filled with pecan pate, which is super easy to make. Just blend pecans, garlic, liquid aminus, and a bit of water. What do you think is protein-dominant food here? Yes, nuts! They're protein! They are well combined with vegetables that digest within two hours. I hope you enjoyed my coaching. Follow me on Instagram at Coach Angelina Kardash, and I will see you next time. Bye.